and three. Hi, Clive Branson here from the Gold Metal Groundbaits Company. This is the first of the part of the series of mixing ground bait. Oh, you farted. <laughs> 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 Scene one, take seventy one. Oh, <laughs>
Okay, that's enough. Introduce the, the ground bait. Water to the ground bait, I should say. There you are, mixing up. Get that nice texture. Aerate it. Now, many years ago, I was privileged to be taught fishing by a chap named Larry Powell. Now, Larry Powell, in my opinion, was one of the best anglers ever from Wales. Uh, long before the World Championships events, and I'm sure if he had entered it, he would have done exceptionally well. But I learned a lot of uh, off Larry, and uh, adding ingredients to the ground bait was one thing, and also cleaning the bait, especially maggots, washing them very... Uh, a fairly washed up liquid in a, uh, a woman's tights and then wash under the water, making sure the bait was always pristine. And I'm sure it goes a long way, exactly like ground bait. Now, this aniseed was a, an additive that he used that used to catch a lot of fish. And I have seen anglers next to him struggle. And I think it was all down to the aniseed. I think at one stage many years ago they tried to ban aniseed because of a... Uh, they were so good and so popular that uh, anyone who didn't use it didn't catch fish. As you see, I'm just getting rid of the lumps and I made my mix. Same procedure, just damp your hands a little bit, making your ball. Now, with this mix, I'm actually going to do two things. I'm going to make the, the main mix, but in a previous video, I did make uh, some black madge ground bait. And I'm going to use that in conjunction with this. So, basically this is the ground bait going in. Do you want to zoom in on this? Okay, as you can see, it's all breaking down very nicely. And fish are being attracted to the, not only the smell, but the visual effect of it breaking up. Now, for an added incentive, I'm just going to put a little bit of the black madge on top. which now creates that beautiful cloud in the water that will attract all the fish to this ground bait. and welcome. Clyde Branson here again at Gold Medal Ground Mates. Now in this program I'm going to show you another mix. It's called a blood mix. Very successful over the years using this mix. Uh, I remember one time I was fishing a venue, a local venue, and I was the only one to catch chub. Now, I put that down to the blood mix. But it's a beautiful mix for all species of fish because of the natural amino acids in it. As you can gather it comes in uh, kilos and two kilo bags. Red in colour, <laughs> perhaps maybe it's the enzymes of the blood, but again you can mix this like you do all other types of ground bait. First of all you can put your dry mix into the bowl, you add your water, as I said I still use the gloves because uh, with this mix you might find that it, you might get some red hands, so if you're using a bit of, uh, if you're using blood mix the better off maybe sometimes using gloves. Right, now that, in that case I actually put too much water because I was talking so I'm going to add just a bit more just so I can get the right texture because it's very important that we get the right texture for all mixes because you want it to break down but not in a big dough, in a big lump. You want it to break nice and evenly. Oh, you can smell the blood in this. By the way, um, we also do a, another blood worm mix, which has got blood worm extracts in it, which I'll be covering, obviously, on a, uh, another video. Right, well, that's reasonable enough. I'm just going to aerate it. Now, you can, you can actually smell the enzymes coming off it. A great attractor for all all species of fish. Just going to riddle it. Just try and squeeze some lumps through. 
that's the dough in it which really you need to dispose of. <coughs> There's the mix. So I'm going to make a ball now. And again, you can um, use the water in the pair of clips to make a nice water base. Right, I'm just going to show you now, that's going to go into the water. Do you want to zoom in on this? Three. As you see, the ground weight is breaking down very nicely, releasing the enzymes of it, and small particles, creating a bed on the bottom of the swim. The blood enzymes obviously attracting the fish. Now as a contrast, sometimes to get fish to the swim, sometimes I'll add a little bit of black magic. That's the visual attractor that brings the fish to the smell of the blood ground bait. Winning combination. Hi, greetings and welcome. Clyde Brandon here at Gold Medal Ground Weights. Today I'm going to show you the Continental Mix. Now the Continental Mix is basically a ground weight that was designed uh, by some French anglers and what we've done, we actually put some spices in there uh, as well as molasses. Uh, the reason being is that it attracts all sorts of fish from skimmers, roach and gardons as they used to call them uh, and when I was in France uh, I learned quite a lot of things. Now, <clears throat> it's an old secret recipe uh, of molasses. And what we do, we include a sachet of molasses within the ground bait crumb itself. Okay? Now, the crumb itself, if you smell it, it's quite pungent. It's like a turmeric smell, but there's other spices in there as well. And when it's mixed with molasses, it makes a tremendous mix. Uh, it can attract all types of fish. Now, the first thing to do is to take the molasses out. You need the scissors, of course, you need to cut it. And what we do, we actually put the molasses liquid into a bowl, it's like treacle. So you can see it's coming out now into the bowl, and I'll just squeeze it out. Now what I'm going to do now is add some water, and this will be our water mix. It's okay. <laughs> Right, now we're going to add the water, as I said, with the sponge. So I'm going to make a little mix with it. Now this becomes a very sweet mix. I'm just going to put my fingers in, make a little bit of a liquid. There you are. So you can see that. Add a bit more. So now you've got like a tear coloured water. Now that will be our mix with the ground bait. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to introduce the ground bait to the bowl, and for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use the whole bag, I'm just going to use the, a small portion of it. By the way, it uh, comes in kilos and two kilo bags. So there's our mix, and what I'm going to do now, we still use the sponge, as I've told you in other videos, it's much easier to add water gradually a little bit at a time. So, I'm going to add this bit of water. I'm going to put my fingers in. I'm going to create this nice sort of damp effect. Oh, it smells lovely. I could eat it myself. <laughs> right, now, as you mix it, of course some anglers use drills and sometimes it's a good idea to, to do it because you can basically get a better mix than with your fingers. Okay. Now, mixed with the spices and the molasses, 
it creates quite a nice smell. Now, as I said, this does attract all species of fish. Now, the next stage is we use, we sieve it to aerate it even a bit, bit more. So what we do is put it on the sieve, sieve it, get rid of the, the little lumps. You can do, in some cases, push the, the lumps through, but what I'm going to do in this case, I'm actually going to discard them. Okay, and there's your mix. I'm going to squeeze them all together. And I'm going to introduce it into the water so you can see exactly how it breaks up. Let's have a closer look. As you can see, the ground bait is breaking up very nicely indeed. Greetings and welcome, Clive Branson again. Today I'm going to show you our green swim ground baits. The first one in the range is green swim. Now green swim or green ground bait with green betting has become very popular over the last couple of seasons and uh, the reason being is catching lots and lots of fish. So with gold member ground baits we've introduced three. This one is the green swim which is uh, fish meal with a green betonine. It's fantastic for all types of fishing, whether you're bream fishing, carp fishing, or any type of fishing. Comes in the two and one kilo bags. The next one, this is a the same, but it's actually got a sweetener in it, and we called it sweet fish meal, uh, green swim. Again, this was uh, a ground bait that was given to me by one of the uh, lads who suggested I should try this, and. We have, we mix it together and it's worked out fine. <clears throat> the next one, now this is a spice one, no fish meal in this at all, just spices. Again, uh, it's giving a ring of changes to the green ground bait. Mixing it, it's quite simple. What we'll do is open the bag, put your green, mix in, demonstration purposes, I'm only using a little bit. Introducing the water with the sponge as previous videos. Starting to mix off with the fingers. Get the right consistency, which is important. Aerating it. Okay. Transfer it to the, the sieve. Taking off the lumps. In this case, I'll try and push it through the lumps through a bit, so there's less wastage. There you are. So, of so that. There's your mix. Don't forget, wetting your hands again. Important when you're making the balls. Now, I think the reason and the secret behind the green ground weight is basically because it gives off the green hue in the water, that colour. So just to demonstrate, I'll just show you this now. Wanna have a close up of that? Right, recording. As you can see by the ground bait, how it's breaking up very nicely distributing itself on the bottom of the swim creating that green hue which is obviously is attracting the fish
Greetings and welcome. Clyde Branson here again at Gold Metal Ground Baits. Now today I'm going to show you a new mix. It's not a new mix, it's actually a rejuvenated mix from years gone by. 20 years ago we used to use this meter mix. Now meter mix is becoming so popular now that it's actually catching a lot of fish. In fact if you pop over to our Facebook page you see some of the guys with some really good successes. And uh, basically the reason being, which I believe, is that as we all know Fish, once they get used to certain smells and baits and flavours, they get, they shy off it. Well, by introducing a new flavour, which we do other flavours, which I'll be coming on to at a later video, this one is exactly the same. It's a meat flavour, ideal for margin fishing, feeder fishing, in fact all types of fishing. It's accounted for a lot of carp at the moment and F1s, although I've, I've been catching chub and bream on it as well. As you can see by the back, it is a brown mix, and if you actually open it up and smell it, you can smell the aroma of, of meat. Um, as we know, carp, uh, they love meat, especially the old dog biscuits and um, that sort of uh, baits. Well, this is, if you like, uh, an extension in the ground weight range. Comes in two sizes, two kilos and one kilo. Um, the way you mix it, just like any other, you just add the dry, to your bowl. Only one thing I will su uh, suggest with this mix is mix at least 20 minutes before you start fishing. Allow it to absorb the water. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to introduce the water. Start the mix off. Get my fingers around the bowl. I'll finish off with a drill to aerate it. Same procedure, sieve, bucket, sieve off all the bits, all the lumpy bits, get rid of them, over there a second, and there you've got your mix. Now what I'm going to do at this stage, generally as I said we mix it at least 20 minutes before we introduce it to the swim to allow the water to absorb into it. Now. Before you start fishing, you can then introduce your particles of bait. Now, in this case, I'm going to put some sweet corn. Of course, you can use anything else, casters, maggots, chop worm, or anything that you feel that you're going to fish with. So I'm going to make the ball now. Wetting my hands with the gloves, remember that. So I've got your, the ball introduced to the water. Hi, greetings and welcome. Clyde Branson here at Gold Metal Ground Baits. Now in this program I'm actually going to show you one of the mixes that uh, I have used over the years. In fact it's been very successful for me catching huge bags of chub on the river, especially the River Wye. Um, I've had some good successes. I've had, uh, uh, world, um, I've had quite a few Wye Championship placings, um, also Low Wye Championships and it's a mix that basically involves mixing it in a, if you like, um, not in a stiff mode, but in a nice um, s soft mode that'll, when it hits the water, it'll break up. But this ground weight in particular releases particles that travel downstream that actually draw the fish up to you. Now, chub are quite greedy, and you can always tell if a chub is eating the ground weight by looking down the throat, and especially if you introduce in maggots or casters in the feed itself. I like to use this mix 
uh, when I'm fishing the bread. Uh, it comes in, I call it a special chub mix. It comes in a kilo and two kilo mixes. As you can probably see, there's all bits of particles inside. Now these are the special ingredients that float from the ground bait that travel downstream that attract the fish. We use wasp nests, um, crushed wasp nest flakes in it, uh, which is also an attractor and as most people know go chub fishing, it's a fantastic bait. Unfortunately they do ban wasp scrub in uh, matches, uh, a lot of matches, but they don't if it's crushed into the ground bait. Now, I'm going to mix this without the aid of a sieve because I don't want to take the little particles away. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in the bowl, add the water, and I'm going to try and get a bit of a sloppy mix. I don't want it to be stiff so it goes straight down to the bottom. I actually want it to sort of break as it's going down to the bottom of the bed so as it breaks up it, it creates a huge cloud that travels downstream. And the best way to introduce this is with a catapult into the swim, especially if you're fishing across the river. Of course, if you can throw it even, even better. Right, now I've got, I got the mix ready. I'm just about to make the balls. You can introduce little bits of bread flake if you want to with it, but I find that all the particles inside that will actually um, draw the fish up. So I'm going to imagine this going into the water. Just going to use the drill just to show you some flow. Creating a lovely cloud and all the particles coming away from the ground bait, attracting those hungry chub from downriver up to your feeding area where you're casting. Greetings and welcome, Clyde Branson here at Gold Medal Ground Baits. Now in this programme or this series I'm actually going to show you the river mix. Now the river mix is one of my favourite mixes because I fish a lot of rivers, natural venues, and getting the, uh, the right mixture and the right ground bait is very important. A lot of anglers uh, make their balls, in, uh, well make balls when they use it into the ground bait. I'm going to show you something different because in my experience, by putting balls in, they actually roll away out of the swim. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you this. This is the Roaring River Mix. I call it Roaring River because obviously you can use it in, in very fast waters. Comes in two sizes, two and one kilo bags. Now, it's, it has some secret ingredients. It's got a, a, quite a few um, crushed nuts, peanuts, hemp seeds, and also a bit of garlic. Now, garlic is one of the main... Uh, attractors to a lot of river fish, um, particular, you know, gudgeon, garble, uh, you know, the whiskey type of fish. Right, first thing I'm going to do is add it to the bowl, add the water, start the mix up. Now I probably put a little bit too much water in that one, so I'm going to add a little bit more ground bait because this does mix very, very stiff, as you can imagine, because uh, this is what we want. We want it to get down onto the riverbed. So by adding a bit more water to it, that loosens it up, adding a bit more dry, stiffens it up. So as long as you bear that in mind, I'm just going to aerate it. All right, not too much, because I want it to stick together. Now, when you make the balls, don't actually make balls, you make pancakes. And basically, when we throw the mix in, we throw it in like so. So, as you can imagine, with a ball, it's going to roll away. With that, that's going to more or less fall onto the bottom and cling onto the bottom. 
before it starts to break up. There's also another little secret. Well, not a lot of people know this. But adding gravel, what we call pea gravel. Don't use limestone gravel because obviously you don't want to pollute the water. But if you use pea gravel, that, that doesn't pollute the water. In fact, they use this in, the, in fish aquariums. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a handful in. And the reason I do this adds that little bit extra weight and it helps to break the ground bait down. So again, making my mix flat, as you can see, straight in, straight down to the bottom. Do you want to come on a close up on that one? Right, as you can see, it's gone straight to the bottom, stand to break up with the help of the stones. Now I'm going to put a, a stick in the water to create the flowing water. As you can see, see how it's breaking up very nicely? And it's not rolling along on the bottom. It's staying in the one position. Hi, greetings and welcome. Clyde Branson here again at Gold Medal Ground Baits. Now in this program I'm actually going to show you a stiff mix. This is ideal for either river fishing or still water fishing where you want the, uh, the ground bait to break down over a long period. Ideal for bloodworm fishing, dead maggots, dead squats, casters, worms or whatever so that over the period of the, of the match or the fishing session is breaking up slowly, letting off particles of bait. Um, it comes in two kilos or one kilo bags, and I call it stiff turbo. It has a blend of crushed hemp, uh, a lot of other seeds, and some other secret ingredients. And if you smell it, you can you can smell the aroma, which uh, is very attractive, as you can imagine, to most uh, carp type of fish. So what we're going to do. Put our stiff in, and can't be stiff, into the bucket, add in the water, get my mix right. Again, because it's a stiff mix, you actually don't need to add that much water. I've probably overdone it then, so I'm just going to add a little bit more dry, just to get the right consistency. That's better. Right. Now I'm going to aerate it because I want to break it down. I don't want to, uh, don't want it to go in the water in clumps. Okay. Actually, you can smell the aroma of the hemp and the and the peanuts and the mm, the other things. Lovely. You can eat it. <laughs> right. What we're going to do now is transfer it to the sink. Going to sieve it off. Now you're going to find in this mix there's going to be a lot more lumps. So you can either push them through, and what you can't dispose of. Now there's your mix. It's a lovely mix. Now. I'm going to show you another ingredient you can add to this to make the ground bait actually uh, break up even longer over a longer period. Now it's a good idea to ha actually put two mixes in. So you put one that will break up over say 20 minutes, half hour, and the other one will break up say over an hour. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make the one ball first, which is quite a stiff mix. Okay, again. You can always have a good ground, but if you do that, don't break up, and you can crumble it, and it goes back into the, into the bucket. So, there's, there's the one ball mix, which I'm going to just place to one side a second. Now, this is the secret ingredient, dry lean. Now, dry lean will bind it even more. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add a little bit of lean, 
dry lean and this will give it extra stiffness and if you blend that in I'll just use the uh, the, the drill now wetting my hands again making this ball now it's not going to make much difference if you look at the two balls but, but take it from me this one's going to break up over 20 minutes this will break up over probably an hour the more lean you add the longer it'll take for the ball to break down so if we, I'll put these in together as you can see uh, this is the one that will break up over half hour this one over the hour If you'd like to zoom in on this. As you can see they're both breaking up but the one on the left is breaking up much quicker than the one on the right. Releasing those little particles of hemp. Hi, greetings and welcome again. Clive Branson at Gold Medal Ground Mates. Sorry about this, just adjusting my hat. Right, today I'm going to show you the laxative ground mate. Now the laxative has a special ingredients which includes a lot of salt and uh, obviously uh, a secret laxative ingredients. Uh, we only use the high, highest protein fish meal halibut uh, in, with the crumb itself. Now I've made this uh, mixture in such a way that um, you can use it either on its own or you can mix it with a bit of crumb if you want to spread it out a bit further. It comes in a kilo and two kilo bags. The bags are resealable, although when they initially come, they come with a seal on the top. So you simply cut it away and, uh, as I say, you can use uh, it whenever you want and just seal it, keep the freshness in it. It's quite an oily ground bait. Now, the mixing of this is quite similar to most types of ground bait. The first thing you do you add, you open the top of course, and if you notice I'm using green air gloves today uh, and there's a reason behind that and I'll explain that, although I do recommend you use gloves most of the times when you mix the ground bait because as I mentioned before you can mould the ground bait balls much easier. So what I'm going to do for demonstration purposes, just half a pack, I'm going to introduce the water as I explained before, a little bit at a time until I get the mixture quite nice. Now a lot of ground baits, they do recommend, suggest you mix it and you leave it for a while so the water gets absorbed into the ground bait and you then add a bit more water until you get the right feel or the right texture. But for demonstration purposes and time element, I'm just going to quickly go through the mix with you. So, as you can see, I've mixed it now. Um, it's quite a dryish mix. I'll just add a little bit more water, I think, just to give it that bit more wetness to it. Again, if, like a lot of anglers, you use sieve, uh, you use the uh, drill. Helps to mix it, helps to aerate it, gives a bit more consistency. But, again, it's always a good idea to sieve. Put it on the sieve. Just sip all the lumps off. Again, you, you're left with a few lumps on the top. You can either push them through the sieve, but in this case, I'm going to discard those because obviously at the end of the day, you don't want the fish to actually eat the ground bait. And that is a, a fact that 
it's, if it tastes nice, smells nice, the fish are going to eat it. And this is the reason why you put the laxatives in this particular ground bait. Because as you all know, bream, skimmers, they'll actually feed over your ground bait, move away, and you've got to wait a while for them to come back over your swim. Well, because of this special ingredient, this stimulates them, and of course, being a laxative, passes through their system quite quickly, and it then uh, helps them to bring the fish back into the swim. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, now that's quite a nice mix, and you can always have a good mix, good ground weight, if you can make a ball, okay, like that, and crumble it, and it all goes back without lumps left in the ball. Now, the reason I'm wearing gloves is twofold. I'm going to make the ball of ground bait ready to put into the water. Okay, so there's your ball of ground bait. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a film over the top. And what I do, I wet my hands. So I wet my hands. And then I'll start putting a, a film of water around it. And that holds the ball together. <laughs> Lovely. Now, when this goes into the water, of course, it'll go in a hole without breaking up. But mainly, once it goes on the bottom, it'll start uh, breaking up. And I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Okay, if you'd like to zoom in. Right, it's recording now. Okay, as you can see, it's breaking up quite nicely. All the particles are coming away, creating a bed on the bottom of the river or the lake, whichever you're fishing. There's an oil coming away from the ground weight because, because of the high protein halibut oil inside it and then, as I said this will attract the fish to the swim and if they do start mulling around eating it then obviously because of the laxative they'll come back onto the swim and onto the ground bait a bit sooner than normal ground bait. Okay, as you can see, the oil from the ground bait has come to the surface, so that's an indication that the oil is coming away from the ground bait. Now we're going to look at the ground bait as it's broken down. Creating a nice bed of ground bait on the bottom of your swim. Hi, greetings and welcome. Clive Branson here again at Gold Medal Ground Baits. Now in this program I'm going to show you the blood mix. Now the blood mix is a very good mix for attracting uh, carnivorous sort of fish. No, oh, do that again. I'm sorry, I'll do your phone. Hi, greetings and welcome. Clive Branson here again at Gold Medal Ground Baits. Now in this program I'm going to show you another mix which is uh, a very good mix for carnival type of fish. Did I say carnival? Carnivorous, carnivorous type of fish. <laughs> you made them. Well, this shows you how clumsy Clive is. This is one of the outtakes. As he was trying to empty the fish tank, whoops, the daisy all over the floor. <laughs> and what have you got to say for yourself, Clive? Oops. This is my house. Say sorry. Accidents do happen. <laughs> A blinking mess he's made all over the goddamn floor. <laughs> Blood mix. And there's your blood mix for you.